Hi, welcome to Size Fishing again, here on the banks of Shitford Lake in Dorset. Now, today I've come back up to see Cam Cleary, who's fishing up here on the big lake himself, and uh, we've had rumour that he's no longer using his much famed anti-bream rig, so here's a chance for us to have a look at it now that he's almost finished with it. Here's the man himself. Hello Cam. Hello Simon. How How's it you? going mate? Okay. Yeah, are you well, sir? Yeah, fine, geezer, fine. Now, I hear that you, you, you might be prepared to divulge a few secrets and show us your secret bream rig. Well, Simon, after four years of using this rig very successfully and not catching a bream on it, I finally decided that it's not doing me any favours. Because whilst I haven't caught any bream on it, Simon, I haven't actually caught anything else on it either. Uh, it's been very successful in keeping the bream away from the uh, from the bait. I am prepared after all this time, and now that I've finished with it, to show you the rig. Um, ah, here we are. This is this is what I've been so successful in avoiding catching bream with. Um, I'll just place it close up in on that for you, viewers. Yeah. Okay, it's a simple rig, monofilament, size 10 Raptor, and a Palatrax stone uh, as the bait. Um, I haven't had a single bream on this in four years. Fantastic. It's, it's wonderful. That is a uh, result, mate. I've come to the conclusion that nothing else is going to pick it up either. And so I've had to come up with a new plan. I've been very secretive about this rig. I've decided not to be secretive about my new plan. I'm going straight in with letting everybody know about it. You're all going to agree it's been well thought out. It's been well understood. It's taken a lot of research, but it's in here. Now, it's a boily. Or should I say it's several different types of boily. Um, none of them are bird food. None of them are uh, fish meal. And none of them are milk protein. Neither are they soy or flour. Um, my boilies are entirely different to anybody else's. Working on the same premise of uh, trying to uh, avoid bream, I thought, what would bream not like the taste of more than anything else? And the answer I've come up with is dog shit. And all of my boilies are actually made out of dog shit milk. Um, you'll notice they're different colours. Well, I don't know if you've ever noticed this, but dog shit does come in different colours. Uh, now, this one in here is a real special. You're not going to see a lot of these. I've had to import this from France. Um, there's a few dogs that have been bred over the years, um, uh, toy dogs normally, lap dogs, and they don't like the idea of their shit being the normal brown colour, so they've bred them especially to have white, white shit, and uh, this is a favourite, a real favourite. Um, accompanying dips, of course, you know, um, put it through the processor as normal, put it through the gun, roll them out, we've got Alsatian, We've got Fifi, this is Fifi's in France. These orange ones are actually dyed, I must admit. Um, they were actually dyed from Fifi. Are they using natural colours? They are, they are natural colours. Depending on what you feed the dog on, um, you have to have special equipment. Like, you know, you can't expect your missus to, to do the washing up afterwards. You, you have to make these in the garage. But they are all actually made out of different types of dog shit meal. Um, with the normal additives, really. You know, a bit of betaine chucked in there. Quality. Um, Quality, mate. Quality, quality, and bream hate them. I haven't caught any bream on them since I've been using them, not a single one. Problem is, I haven't caught anything else on them either, so I'm beginning to wonder if maybe the dog shit boilies are a good idea or not. Come on, viewers, you've got to hand it to camp. That's a top tip. It's well, messy, it's messy. Tune in next week and it's smelly. for more smelly, top shitty tips. You want to smell? From the big shit. <laughs>